UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. It's really the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 158 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Bruce, the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is not posture here now trying to hip escape he's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC 
And you're seeing why. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Big ball from West Lance. Now he gets back to range. Right hand. Just missed with the left there. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, there is Clams, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. Eddie Lynn, great job. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. 20 seconds to go. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda, more often than not. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your cup. Connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And there comes the separation now. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Liver kick. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. You got the turnover in that kick. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Hook shot lands. Oh, straight right. Big 
head kick. He went high on that one. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Good jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Yet another combination is good. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh! Body right under the elbow. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strikes. Leg kick rounds his opponent trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Big leg kick. Oh, nice straight left there. Oh! Oh! oh. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, straight right! Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Serve him up. Go get him. And they separate. That one was thrown to him. The fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, he <laughs> his opponent limping a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, beautiful knee to the head there. him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Cable inches right there, boy. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Right hand upstairs. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. <laughs> Telegraph that spinning back fist. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Nice punch, Lance. Just over two minutes to go in the round. A finish could come here at any time. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Well, he's got to be on top of the world, dominating this fight, the stamina. Oh, Under a minute to go. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big kick lands. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the win by TKO. That is one they'll be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 36 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon. imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight. He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have